Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw George and Harold from Captain Underpants. Let's get started on the left side of our page. We're going to be drawing George on this side. So let's start with the eyes. We're going to be basically drawing two short vertical lines, one on the left. And then moving over, we'll draw one more on the right. Just below the left eye, we're going to draw like a C shape for the nose. And then just under the nose, we're going to draw a big smile going across. Starting on the left side of the nose, we're going to curve down and then back up on the right side. Now that we got the face, let's draw on the body. So we're going to start with the top of the head. We're going to go up above the eyes and just draw an angled line coming down towards the right. So starting up here, we're going to angle downwards, straight line. Now we want to draw the sides of the body. We're going to pull them out sideways this way. Starting on the left side, we're going to angle down towards the bottom of the shirt. So up here, angle across and down, just beside the mouth. We're going to go to the right side, do the same thing, angling out towards the right. But we're going to stop just about the same height as the mouth to draw in the ear. So we're going to angle down to right about here. Now I'm going to draw a little backward C for the ear. Going around and then back in. Inside the ear, we're just going to draw a little hook the inside of the ear. Now we're going to continue this line all the way down towards the bottom. Just below the mouth we're going to draw the collar of the shirt. So starting on this left line we're going to curve down towards the middle and then we'll pull that up on the right side. Going back to the top let's draw little curls for the hair. So we're going to start on the left side we're just going to do these little swirls that go all the way over towards the right side. So just swirling these all the way across the top. Now we're going to fill the top area in with black. Let's move just below the nose and draw on the collar of the shirt. So we're going to draw a little upside down V. Now on the left side we're going to curve this up towards the side of the body. We'll do the same thing on the right side, so it's going to get a little bit narrower as we come up towards the right. Now we're going to tuck the tie in here. So about halfway along this line, we're just going to angle down towards the right. Now we're going to cross this over from the right side, down. Let's take these two points and just connect it with a little V at the bottom. Let's go underneath the collar over here and draw on the sleeve. So we're going to start with a straight line that goes across. On the left side we're going to pull this up. Then on the right, we're going to go a little bit longer up towards the collar. Now let's layer the arm and the hand in here. So from this corner of the sleeve, we're going to step over towards the right. We're going to curve out towards the left. We're going to round out the finger. So curling around to right about there. Now we're going to layer the fingers in behind. So going up, do another swirl coming around. Going back up again, we'll do this one more time. And we'll pull this up to the back of the hand. Now we're going to curve this up underneath the sleeve. Now let's take these two points of the body and just curve them underneath the tie in behind the hand. Starting on the left side, go just below the tie and then in behind the arm. We'll just continue this on the right side. From these two corners, we're going to step in and just draw the sides of the shorts. So on the left side, we'll draw a straight line coming down. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to curve these in towards the center, but we're going to draw a little notch in here. Starting on the left, we'll curve down and in. Draw a little upside down V, and then we'll continue that on the right side. Let's go ahead and color the shorts in black. Let's move over towards the left side of the body and draw in the arm. So we're going to have him waving over here. So at the top of the collar, we're just going to angle down and out towards the left. Now we're going to curve this back in behind the body. Going back to the top, we're going to draw on the top of the arm. So we're just going to curve up. Now we're going to layer in the fingers. We're going to draw on four fingers. Starting up here, we're going to curve around, then in. Now we're going to have the two middle fingers going upwards. So curving around the top. Do that one more time. Now for the last finger, we're going to curve it out that way, almost like a C shape. Curving around. Now we're going to take that bottom and just curve this back in underneath the sleeve. 
leaving a little bit of an overlap on the corner there. Let's go ahead and tuck the legs in underneath. We're gonna start with the one on the left. So from the inside, we're gonna step in, draw a straight line coming down. Now we're gonna curve the bottom of the foot. Going across to the toe. We're gonna to take that point, curve up to the top of the foot and then down towards the heel. Going up and we'll pull that down towards the heel. At the top of the foot, we're gonna draw a straight line coming down. And then right in here, we're gonna draw a straight line going across for the socks. Let's do the exact same thing on the right side here. Starting in the middle, draw a straight line coming down. Again, curving the bottom of the foot. And then from the toe, curve up to the top of the foot, and then down towards the heel. At the top of this curve, we're gonna draw a straight line coming down, and then a line going across for the socks. Okay, so now that we finished George, let's go over to the right side and draw in Harold. So we're gonna basically take this and flip it over. So we're gonna start by lining up the eyes. We're gonna draw two short lines coming down side by side. Now just below this eye on the right, we're gonna draw a backward C for the nose. Just below the nose, we're gonna draw in the mouth. So we're gonna start on the side here, curve down below the nose, and then up on the right side. Curve down, then up. Now Harold's got some really curly hair, so we're gonna start in between the eyes, just above here. We start with a little point. Now we're gonna do these little swirls that go all the way up to the top. So starting here, we're gonna come down, we're gonna swirl this around, and then back down. We're gonna do another one over on the side here. So we're gonna make our way up, swirling around, and then out. Now he's got this one big curl that comes down again, aiming towards this point here, so just above here. Curve up, and we'll just pull that down to right about there. Now we're gonna draw these little humps all the way back to the back of the head. So we wanna sort of line up to the side here. So from this point, we're gonna curve up, and then down. We'll do a tiny one. One slightly larger one, going around, and then back in. So now that we're on the outside of the mouth here, we're gonna come straight down with a curve, coming down like that. From this point, I wanna draw in the ear. So we're gonna draw a little C shape on the side. We're gonna go back in and just draw that little hook for the inner ear detail. Now from the top of that ear, we wanna draw the hairline going up this way. So we start here, we're gonna curve up. Now we're gonna do another curve coming down and then back up. Now we're gonna pull this in behind that line, leaving a little bit of an overlap, just on the inside. Now let's draw on the sides of the body, just like we did with George. We're gonna start with the ear lobe. We're gonna angle down, coming down and out towards the left. We wanna sort of match it up with the one on this side here. Underneath the hair, we're gonna go in the opposite direction. So right here, we're gonna go out towards the right and then down, making sure they're roughly the same length. Now from here, we're gonna draw in the collar. Just underneath the mouth, from the left side, we'll curve down below the mouth, and then over towards the right. Let's go in and draw Harold's arm. We're gonna take this arm here on George and just flip it over on this side. We're gonna start with the bottom of the sleeve, with a straight line. Now we're gonna go up on the inside, and on the outside we'll go a little bit longer. Now we're going back to the front of the arm. We're gonna step in from this point towards the left, curving out round out the finger, coming back. Let's draw on the second finger. We're gonna step up, just curve around, and do one more, curving around. And we're gonna hook this all the way back in to the back of the hand. Now we're gonna curve this underneath the sleeve, going up. Now let's take these two points and connect it along the bottom with the curve. We're gonna go in behind the hand. So going in behind, and we'll continue this over towards the right side. Let's go back to the right side. We're gonna draw on the arm. We're gonna have him waving as well. So from the top of the collar, we're gonna angle down and out. And we'll curve this back in behind the body. Now we're gonna go back up to this point and curve up the upper part of the arm. And then we're gonna draw on the fingers. So we're gonna start with a little C. Now we're gonna turn the fingers around. So we're gonna go up and then down. We'll do that one more time. And now for the last one, we're gonna do a backward C. Going around, back in. We'll curve this back in underneath the sleeve, leaving a little bit of an overlap along the bottom there. Let's go ahead and draw on the shorts. So from the left side, we're gonna step in, draw a straight line coming down. On the right, we're gonna step over toward the left, draw a straight line coming down. And again, we're gonna curve these and connect it in the middle. We're gonna leave a little gap in the center. So starting from the left side, we're gonna curve across in towards the middle, draw a little upside down V. Then we'll continue over towards the right side. Let's go ahead and color shorts in black.
Now let's draw the legs underneath the shorts. Starting on the left side here, we draw a straight line coming down. We're gonna curve the bottom of the foot over towards the right. Now we're gonna take this point in the toe, curve the top of the foot down towards the heel. Going up and then down. Up at the top of the foot, we're gonna draw a straight line going underneath the shorts. And we'll draw a straight line going across the leg for the socks. Let's do the same thing over here. Starting on the left side, draw a straight line coming down. Curve out towards the right. Now we're gonna curve the top of the foot going in towards the heel. At the top of the foot, we're gonna draw a straight line going up underneath the shorts and then a straight line going across for the socks. Now let's add some stripes in the shirt. So just below the collar, we're gonna step down and just draw that same curve just below it, going across. Now in the sleeve here, I'm gonna draw a straight line, taking this line here, duplicating up just above. Now there's gonna be a straight in behind the arm here. So we're gonna step down, draw a curve behind the arm. We're just gonna follow that upper curve all the way across. Again, we're gonna step down again, Draw that same curve in behind the arm. And then at the bottom, we're just gonna draw one more curve. Going in behind the hand, along the bottom towards the right side. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's George and Harold from Captain Underpants. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send us your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.